I play Lieutenant Eva McKenna and I'm the Lieutenant of the Commander, the Commander being the, the gamer, the player. And whenever you run into trouble in the game or need any help, I pop up on screen and tell you what to do, what enemies are attacking, where you should be going. So I just kind of help you out throughout the game. But she's very much level-headed. She's, you know, she's got a bit of a crush on the lieutenant. Uh, so she's got a bit of a cheeky side as well. But she's very straight-talking, and she's obviously in her office most of the time in the command centre. Um, so she, yeah, she's a good character to play. While we were busy fighting the Red Menace, this Empire of the Rising Sun was secretly preparing for war. It appears that the Empire has mounted a full-scale assault. We've got some really big global celebs in this game, which is great for the whole cinematic value. But the game itself seems to really retain the whole Red Alert franchise, and it, it, it brings this Red Alert humour to it, and it's just, it's cool. <laughs> There's not a lot I can say about it, really. It's a really good game. I have a Nintendo Wii, um, I still have a Game Boy, hilariously, I like the Game Boys, um, and a PS3, but at the minute my nephews are lending it. <laughs> what games are you particularly good at? What's your favourite game? Wii Sports. I'm very good at boxing on the Wii Sports. Um, I used to like Revenge of Shinobi, you know, all the old stuff, and like Sonic and Knuckles. But I, the reason I like the Wii game now is because all your family can get involved, so it's good for, to get my mum up and do some stuff. The gaming book started for me um, as a child, really. I had a Commodore and I used to play Snapper and um, Space Invaders. My dad was very much into computers and gadgets and stuff. So from there, really, it developed. And then, you know, my Sega Mega Drive, Mega Drive 2, PlayStation. And they've just got better and better. I mean, the graphics on some of them now, it's like watching a movie. Yeah, I think girls can play computer games as easy as any lads, you know. Um, you just got to have your wits about you and just get stuck in. Which sex do you think is better at driving games, men or women? Um, I'd say men are better at driving games because women are better drivers in, in real life, so they have to be better at something. So men probably better on computers, but we rule the road. I would totally agree. On that note, let's go back over to the quad bike track and let's show the lads how it's done. Well, Miss Atkinson bottled it, so I'm here by myself, all kitted up, ready to feed my need for speed. here at M Festival are the outdoor activities that you can take part in. Now I've bagged myself some rather stylish transport and I'm going to go and defend X League on the front line in the Airsoft Arena. Well, we're five years ago I had a job in the Middle East and I was out there for real and I decided after I came back one of a few friends who tried this and they said come along and try it. We train here in three aspects of today. We the armed forces train out the back which is we're an old green kit. Then in here as you see we're in on a black kit as the SAS actually trained as well. And all, and all the drills that we actually do, all, all our pure SAS <laughs> drills themselves. And then we have close protection end of it as well where we train you to come over and to do this as if you're a PSD operator in Baghdad taking care of engineers or whatever on the ground. How can people get involved with Airsoft? Well if you really want to try this you want to try it out at www.sterlingairsoft.com this really is a challenge if you come along you'll have absolute fun it's hard work from the very start but everybody is so friendly and you'll have an absolute fantastic time come and try it. Favourite element probably the tent city we've got our own little organisation going we've got about four or five tents in a row Little porch in the middle, beer, barbecue, whatnot, it's wicked. Are you camping and getting into the festival spirit or are you hoteling it? Oh, I'm camping. A land is not a land if you haven't got a tent. day weekend here. I am exhausted. I'm going to go and get some kip, but I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did, and I'll see you next time. We're hoping to go bigger and better. We want to be one of the biggest in Europe for the uh, network gaming areas, and we want to be one of the uh, esports locations for the UK. First of all, bigger is better. 
and it's better well laid out. You've got two big halls plus different areas for food, different areas outside. It, it works a lot better. It's, it's brilliant. There's loads of new stuff going on here and loads for people to do, lo loads to see. It's obviously much bigger. There's so much more in one position for everybody to get involved with, um, especially the outdoor activities like the 4x4 and the quad biking. Um, it's nice to bring it all into one location that's a lot more central as well. Lots of people turned up. All the gamers are here. They're having a great time. Uh, it's been amazing. You know, the venue is it's the biggest building I've ever been in my life. You know, and it's like there's so many things going on, and we have played a few games now, and we're watching Counter Strike Finals, and there's something going on over there, and you know, it's Project Gotham. It's just it's amazing. You know, it's, there's so much to do. I think it's a lot better than I series has been previously a lot bigger um, a lot more people a lot more to do probably almost one of the best in the world you know it's, it's saying something I know it's not the biggest in the world but in terms of what they put on it's definitely up there This has been a Portland Interactive production for X-League.